things we take for granted in life, and I like to think that toilet paper is one of them. Sure, it takes the spotlight every once in a while. You might see the cardboard rolls used in DIY guides on how to sort cables or grow plants and even wedding dresses from this product. But for the most part, it hangs one way or another in your bathroom, unassuming and forgotten until the one moment you need it. And you better hope you have it then. Well, toilet paper isn't the only thing people are flushing down the loo. You can add flushable wipes to that list, but here's the thing. They're clogging up your toilets. That's right. Such a problem in Halifax that the city's water company is recirculating an old PSA reminding people that flushable wipes really aren't all that flushable. Yute Lee is the voice behind that PSA, and he joins us live from the bathroom. Where else? Good morning, Yute. He's on the West Coast right now. You're in Vancouver, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, plot twist. I moved back to Vancouver, uh, my hometown, after making that video. Uh, maybe because so many people were thinking I was weird for being so crazy about toilet paper. But, you know, it's good so, to be here, guys. It's so good to see you. Why is this happening so often? Oh, well, I think, you know, like I said, like this toilet paper, we kind of, uh, you know, we take it for granted. There's a lot of design that goes into, you know, this piece of technology. You know, we're really trying to create a product that, doesn't fall apart in your hands, but then falls apart in the toilet, right? Because you want that stuff to all, you know, go down and go into the city sewage system. Uh, and, you know, we don't really see that as the consumer, but that's sort of all the thinking and the engineering that goes into toilet paper. Now, because of that, I think, you know, we have like these sort of new products that come into the market. Uh, you know, they're flushable wipes. They're much more comfortable. They're like, I don't know. <laughs> they, uh, there's quite a lot of advertising that goes into sort of promoting uh, like how much better they are, but uh, I think what really we've been finding and, and sort of, I, I'm, and I'm not like an expert or anything, I'm a, you know, video filmmaker at the end of the day, but what I found was really that these wipes, they aren't, uh, they aren't breaking down. And there's a, there's another scene in the video that's kind of quite compelling to me where uh, we had like mm -hmm. a lab experiment set up when we had in one container these uh, uh, like flushable wipes and in another container we had toilet paper and then we had like these like uh, sort of like almost blender like spinners uh, that, you know, just, and over the course of like a couple minutes, you see the toilet paper, it just sort of blends into this sort of uh, like mush that sort of becomes essentially part of the water. And then the flushable wipes, it just continues to be the same. So yeah, that was sort of, you know, uh, a compelling visual for me. Yeah, we just saw some visuals as well as some of these pipes are getting unclogged. Uh, the, this problem is a $250 million problem across the country and even more so right now what do we need to do besides your psa to get the message across people being like let's not disclosable dispose of these flushable wipes that way uh, i mean i mean of course you're right like like I, there's definitely a part of this is uh just the average person understanding what can and can't be flushed down the toilet but there is part of me that does uh, kind of wish that the, the companies producing these flushable wipes also were a bit more transparent about how like really flushable they were and uh you know and you know, who's to blame here? I'm not sure, but yeah, I think there's it's a it's a bit of a complex issue, right? Okay, in a live TV first here on the yes. show, you take. Can you do us the honors of giving the flushable wipes a royal flush? Can you hit Can you hit the flush button, you take? I mean, this is a precious commodity these days. No, so. no, oh, you don't have to waste paper. that. Don't waste not that. Not the toilet paper. Just flush it. Just flush yeah. it. Just you flush hold the on toilet. To that. Oh, just just flush flush. The, here we go. Royal flush. Here we go. Three, two, one. There it is. <laughs> First time we've had that on Breakfast Television Canada. Thank you so much, Ute, for taking a feel very close to Ute now, being in his bathroom yes. with him. Game of Thrones, as it were. <laughs> we'll be back with more Breakfast Television Canada right after this. Yeah.